Welcome back everybody to another Goosebumps book review and this is one I've been looking forward to for a while. This is my Goosebumps review number 7, Goosebumps Horrorland number 3, Monster Blood for Breakfast. I have remembered and loved this book my whole life. Rereading it again? Yeah, it's either my favorite or second favorite Goosebumps book I've reviewed so far. Previously I talked about Monster Blood 1 through 3 and Horrorland 1 and 2. So, now to Goosebumps Horrorland book 3. This was one of the first Goosebumps Horrorland books I read also. One or one of the first Goosebumps books I ever read. I guess for everyone, it would be one of their first Horrorland books they read. Anyway, the plot is star athlete Matt Daniels, from his school at least, star athlete, has an annoying neighbor who he's known his whole life, nicknamed Worm. Anyway, one day, I think his real name is Bradley Wormster, but they just call him Worm. Anyway, one day, Monster Blood was ordered by him from Matt's laptop, destroying his laptop. So Matt gets the egg, his sister takes it and drops the Monster Blood and Worm cereal that he always goes to their house to have their food in the morning. Kind of annoying, I guess. But then, in school that day, after being confronted about it, Worm tells Matt that he switched his cereals with him, so Matt really ate the Monster Blood. During the day, he barely grows, but in a huge swim competition, he grows as fast as Giant Man because water makes the person who ate the Monster Blood grow fast. Which was not really a detail they ever said in the other Monster Blood books, but it's a really cool detail to add in, I, I would say. Anyway, he breaks the record in a swim meet because he's a giant now, and no one sees him giant except the worm, and he just shrinks back to normal since, funny ending, the Monster Blood was only for 24 hours. Some of the quick endings I don't like for Goosebumps, but this one I do. This was the first story, the first 75% of the book. The last quarter, the Horrorland part, starts as Billy's sister, Sheena, is still invisible, and they go to the monster police, which are horrors in funny police uniforms. They go to them for help, but they actually act like they don't hear Sheena, and the mirror where they saw the two missing girls, Brittany and Molly, disappeared. In fact, the whole building they were in at the end of the last part disappeared. The MPs, monster police, are after Matt for the card, which we, we, yeah, we meet Bryson for the first time, a friendly horror who wants to get the kids out of the park for their own safety. Bryson gave Matt that special card, which let him win all the games from the last time, and he also saves the three kids from monster blood, which is found in Horrorland by using a mirror, something strangely absent from the park. The monster blood that was attacking the three kids got sucked into the mirror, and Sheena got sucked in with it. The mirror breaks and melts onto the floor in the silver liquid, but one piece they can see two girls riding a carousel on fire, and the two girls are Molly and Brittany. And that's the whole story, really, really good. On the back of the book, it has the last half of the second token. So the blue one fully says, beware of the Black Lagoon, okay, worthless. And the green one, with the monster blood on it, says, panic at the... And that's all we know of for now. The extras aren't that good this time. We see a joke with an MP office of the month named, how would you like a punch in the nose? Rereading re 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 this for first time in over 10 years, I finally get that joke. Wow. Maybe I'm not that good at grammar. I don't know. And the last four pages has four things to do with the Goosebumps Horrorland game website was around. With a checklist to buy Monster Blood with bonus features. This is the map, which goes to the right of map 2 from the last Horrorland book. It shows Crocodile Cafe, Monster Police Building, and the Swim with the Hungry Croc ride. Oh, of course, the Mad Scientist stop also. And yeah, when I was a kid, I colored it. Oh well. I think this book works really well because it has the same amount of characters, but none overstay or understay their welcome, and there was some scares and worries for the characters. For example, when Billy's sister disappeared, I don't remember what happens there. Once again, I love the Monster Blood villain, and the tale has a very unique main character, since he's a jock this time and not just someone who gets picked on by a jock. Uh, it has a great monster, of course I love Monster Blood, at least the look of it. Great cliffhangers, and a main story which I think is better than the Horrorland part this time. It gives me one of my favorite Goosebumps books ever. Thanks for watching, next time we will be looking at the Haunted Mask, but Goosebumps Horrorland 4, The Scream of the Haunted Mask. So thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.